Hi, I'm Dan Wise of Cannabis Financial Network, and we're here in Denver at the Marijuana Investors Summit. And with us today is Giada DeCarcer of New Frontier. She's the founder and CEO. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So uh, can you give us a brief overview of the company and your background? Absolutely. New Frontier um, is the big data shop in cannabis today. Uh, we collect, aggregate uh, data uh, from a variety of sources covering both financials as well as demographics, strain, medical. Um, and we aggregate it and analyze it in order to bring visibility and transparency into the industry. Great. And uh, why would someone come to New Frontier? What makes you guys special in the marketplace? So right now, the data is very sparse and fragmented, mm -hmm. uh, and investors, operators, as well as legislators are really struggling to understand what is occurring in this high growth market, um, and they, they just need, they no longer want white papers, they want hard data. So what we do is we, um, despite the fact that the data is sparse and fragmented, we're able to collect it, normalize it, aggregate it in various layers, and then make it searchable and digestible to our stakeholders, again, investors, operators, and legislators. Right, and so in the long term, how, how long do you think before this whole, I guess, ecosystem of, of data gets compiled into something that legislators and operators, people can use, how long? We're doing it now. I mean, but how long until we have a, a, com a complete enough view that everyone has what they feel like they need? So we have, in terms of, I mean, I can tell you what New Frontier's rate of data ingestion is. Sure. We should be at 300 pentabytes of data uh, in, by the end of next year. That's the equivalent of what Facebook had in, on its year seven. Wow. Um, yeah, it's a lot of data. Yeah. And mind you that it, also, it is also because it's not just the cannabis-centric data, it's also the surrounding data that is necessary to understand the cannabis 360 space. degrees of what's really going Real on. Real estate data, pricing per square foot in zip codes is something we collect. It's not, it doesn't make a lot of sense why we do it, but if you think about it, if you're a cultivator, a retailer, you kind of want to know where you should be sure. buying your next pot. Plot. So yeah, we yeah. that that's basically what we're thinking. So end of next year, we should have a pretty, pretty massive amount of data. Available. All right. And Giada, what's what has surprised you most about the Marijuana Investor Summit here in Denver? A lot of suits. A lot of suits. A lot of suits. Yeah. I like that. I mean, yeah. These are the folks that are actually going to understand the value of data. Um, it's always good to see diversity in the crowd, and it's good to see a mix of operators and investors. Sure. Um, but it did, this, this summit really was very successful in attracting some new investors, mm -hmm. sophi sophisticated investors from new areas, um, not the same faces. That's so good. it's it's nice and it's refreshing and it's encouraging, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, there you have it. Giada DeCarcer, founder and CEO of New Frontier. Thank you so much for joining us today, Thank Giada. Thank you for having me again. I'm Dan Wise for CFN. We'll see you next time.